If we're looking for the greatest common factor of three integers, like 18, 30, and 42, the process is really the same as just looking for the greatest common factor of two integers. So we start with the same first step. We, uh, we're gonna look for prime factorization. So find prime factorizations of each of the integers. Okay, so let's, let's start with 18 here. 18 is three times six, and six is uh, three times two. So three times three times two, that would be a prime factorization of 18. 30, let's take a prime factorization of 30. So 30 is two times 15, and 15 is three times five. Two, three, and five are all prime, so that's the prime factorization of 30. And 42, uh, 42, that's six times seven, and six is two times three. Two, three, and seven are prime, so we're done here. And then the second step, uh, we're gonna look for common factors in the three factorizations here. Okay, so we've got 18, we've got 30, and we've got 42. All right, so let's, let's compare their factorizations. So 18 is two times three times three, and 30 is two times three times five, and I'm gonna move this five to a new column because it doesn't match that three above it. And 42 is two times three times seven. And I'm gonna to move the seven to a, yet another column because it doesn't match the three or the five, okay? And so these are the prime factorizations and we're looking for common factors. So we look at the different columns here. So we've got twos here, all in a column. We got three threes lined up. So those are a common factor. But this three here is all by itself. It's not a common factor. And same for the five and the seven. So the common factors are two and three. And so the last step, we are gonna multiply these common factors. So the GCF, greatest common factor is two times three which equals six, and we're done.